So we're back out again and conditions are much more favourable this time. Uh, the wind is really, really gentle. And I launched from where I wanted to launch from, although it was a bit of a nightmare because the last sort of 15 yards towards the edge of the water was really soft mud. So um, blowing up the boat and all the rest of it was, was a bit of a nightmare to be honest. But we got there, we got launched and we're out. Uh, I'm tied up to this post, this was the idea I had was to tie up one of these posts and fish underneath the bridge here. Um, but at the moment there's very very little tide and I'm just spinning around again like I was last time so I've got to try and work out a way of stopping that but we're fishing. I've got ragworm again, I've also got some frozen peeler crabs which are still frozen at the moment because I picked them up this morning. Don't know what to expect. I mean, 20, 25 years ago, I used to catch some fairly decent bass underneath this bridge from the shore and just wondered what it would be like, just like tying up a boat to one of these posts and fishing directly down along the wall, which is where the bass seem to patrol. But um, yeah, this is it. This is the first cast with a worm. It's almost as if when the tide starts to run, they come through here. And they go, well, the, the idea was that they came along this wall, just picking crabs and bits and pieces off the wall as they went, and fishing with crab up against the wall from the shore on the other side of this bridge used to be quite fruitful. Trouble was, once the tide started pushing a bit, you couldn't hold the bottom. Which is why getting above it in a boat was always going to be the better option. But yeah, full of confidence after the last trip. It was good to get out then and um, just test everything out, try everything out. It's been so long since I've fished around here. I used to fish from the shore. Brings back so many nice memories. Used to be a really long walk from Hillsy Lido all the way around to here. It's all blocked off now. You're not allowed to get on there anymore. So um, how you'd get around to fish around here now, I'm not sure. So this is by far the best option. Used to be rats underneath this bridge as well. Just wondering if I caught a couple of small rats and used them as live baits. I wonder if that might, might catch a decent bass. We've got options and a day off work. It's quite surreal when you build something up over so many years. And then when you're finally here, it's not like an anti-climax, but it's almost, it's surreal. It's almost like it's not real, you're not here. I think after so long, you kind of had it in your head that that's not gonna happen. It'd be nice, but it's not gonna happen. And then when you're here, it's crazy. It might be completely rubbish, but we've got to try it. It's a lovely spot though. Just like when that tide starts to push, this um, boat might straighten out a bit. There's a cormorant over there. Bloody things. Yeah, the other option is to find something to tie up alongside. You can see some blackwings over there as well. I mean, this is where I spent my childhood around here. Low tide, collecting cockles, digging bait, fishing. And the smells and the sights and the sounds just brings back memories. Brilliant, it's brilliant. Love it. So 
So I've kind of got to do the same as I did last time, because the, the boat's moving about, got to work to keep in contact with the lead to fill the boats. Let's have a little look, see if we've got a load of crabs. Yeah, it feels quite heavy actually. Yeah, we've got a crab on there. Oh well. Get off, get off. You don't want to let go. Let go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I'll flick that back out there, I think. So that's over there is MOD land. That's DDS, the Defence Diving School. Um, you can see ports down here in the background, possibly. And this above me is the M275, which comes into Portsmouth. So effectively, this is the chunk of water that makes Portsmouth an island. Some small looks on and see if I can catch a wrasse. Small wrasse for a bit of life bait, maybe. Always used to be that I'd come down here at low tide with my tackle um, and a bucket and I would forage along the edge of the shore for soft backs and, and peeled crabs and then I'd sit up on the top there and then start fishing against this wall when the water touched the wall underneath me. That's when it was time to fish. Start, the tide would start. So you can see from these posts um, that there's no, there's no tide yet, it's completely slack. But um, eventually you see the eddies start to form behind these posts and the tide starts to run. And I think that's when the bass come through. And that's the prime time to start fishing for them. So I might set up um, the other rod and just have a go, see if I can catch a wrasse. But I have got, like I said, I have got frozen peelers to try as well. Not ideal frozen ones, but I used frozen peelers for smooth hounds before and I caught them, caught fish. Then again, you catch smooth hounds on most things, even on hardback crabs. And that's the other thing, with, um, with a live bait, at least you're not going to have, well, you shouldn't have too much trouble with the crabs. chilly today, it's a cold wind. It did say on the weather forecast that it was going to be a fairly calm, sort of eight, nine mile an hour winds, which is half as strong as it was when I was out last time. And predominantly sunny all day, it's absolutely clear sky today, it's not a cloud. But it did say it would be slightly chilly, and it is, it is to start off with, and I'm not in the sun either, which doesn't help. Never caught a really big bass before. I'd love to. I think by design, I've caught them to about maybe three pounds. I did catch a five pounder out in the boat once, but I wasn't fishing for them. That was a, a fluky, lucky catch. But I know that they travel around here a bit bigger than that. But I was talking to Nick in the tackle shop this morning. There's so many of these small bass around at the moment, it's quite difficult to get down through to the, the better ones. Which is why a big bait, like a big big piece of crab or a, or a live bait, would probably be the best option. You might wait longer for a bite, but when you do get one, it's going to be an half decent fish. What are we doing here? Very slow at the moment. Mm. Worm's definitely taking a bit of a pasting. I'd say crabs, I'm not getting any bites. Oh, I wish I'd brought my other jacket. Actually, I have got a different one. Oh. 
got a wind jacket in my box. I'm sitting here cold and I've got a wind jacket in it. Yeah, special child. <laughs> yeah, mate, have you get? Just get that out of there. Better carry a bag for whatever reason. There you go. Yeah, definitely going to use this. I know the zip's broken, but um. Very little in the way of weed on the bottom, which is good. Very good. Um, yeah. Cold air. leave a bit of a tail on the worm and let them wiggle a little bit just to entice them I know the small fish are, and the crabs are likely to just bite them off but it's a chance we take It's so much warmer with its coat on, but it's just stopping that wind. Very good. Well, that's a bite. Little bite. Little surely, no doubt. Just took the end of that worm off, I bet. First positive bite of the day. Yep, there we go. That's a decent fish. Yep, there we go. Oh, that's a decent fish. <laughs> that's better than the ones I got last time when I was out. Oh, it's just starting to run as well. That's fighting really well. Wow, look at that. Fishy. Uh, caught me other line though. What a pain in the arse that is. that is <laughs> there you go oh, there it goes <laughs> so that was a good one fought like a demon I was just saying the tide you can see by the back end of these posts that you're getting these eddies now the tide's definitely starting to move. 
and uh, that was a good bash that was uh, a good pound and a half maybe getting on for two pounds shame it flipped out my hands but I'm not keeping them anyway I'm putting them all back bass caught on a little size five hook and a tiny little bit of worm trying to catch a live bait <laughs> brilliant quality there's a few running through now there's a few running through now obviously I don't know what that was for a minute this ain't no little rass this ain't no little rass See a few bits of weed coming through now. Oh, here we go. That's a good one. That's a good one. God, that didn't half bang that. <coughs> God, that didn't half bang that worm. Oh, yes. This is amazing. We're going to net this one. After the last one, jumping out. Jumping away. This is a... This is a not massive, but gosh, so much better than what I was catching last time. There we go, get in that net, yes! Excellent, excellent, excellent. That is so cool, that is so cool. Banging them worms. Absolutely banging them, look at that. That's a beautiful bass. Wild shaft. Fantastic. Good sport too. Especially on this light tackle. That's amazing. Really hitting them worms too. Bang! Over they go. I've still got a good bit of worm on that one actually. I think I'm going to put that one back out. Okay, so we've got caught up somehow. Those eddies are really boiling now, tide's starting to really run. We have had some great fishing so far though. Wow. When that tide started moving and then bass started whacking them, them worms. Incredible. Loved it. Got a feeling the tide, I don't know what the tide's doing, it's pulling through a load of, a load of um, weed now 
We've got a lot of a lot of weed coming through now. worm out there. Let's get out there. The sitting nicely now. Now the tide's running. The boat's sitting just well, it's not moving about too much, it's still moving about but I can fish quite comfortably. Got one rod over the back now. I'm on over the side here with a crab on, that one's got a worm on. Lovely fish. Look at that. That's the best one of the day. for a bass. That's beautiful isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. In a much better stamp today. Getting fishing around where I wanted to fish. Well I'll shuffle that. Get him back. There you go mate. Absolutely fabulous that. I think they're not doing anything. I might take that off and stick a big worm on that. Because it seems to be worm doing all the business. Worm's doing the business. That was great. What a fight as well in this current. Sport all the same. Oh, this is fantastic. There we go. There he is. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Brilliant. So it seems to have slowed up a bit now, but it's still the old one or two coming through. I've packed up the other rod now, got caught on the bottom and snapped off and I think two rods is just too much. I can concentrate on one properly. I 
think the last couple of hours. And once the water gets up to where that, you know, connected onto that post, I think for the last couple of hours I should go round the other side, be a bit more sheltered round there. Tide won't be racing quite so much. And I can tie up alongside that big thing. And maybe fish cut the rods out out the side. That might be nice. This is definitely the spot for them bass though, as that tide starts running with big ragworms. Fabulous sport. Fish, I'm shivering under here though, because obviously I've got a shelter from the sun. And with that bit of a chilly wind. Yeah. Remember my sunglasses this time. Got fishing where I wanted to fish. It's just I needed that last trip, although it was pretty <sighs> caught plenty of fish, but I just caught loads of small ones. But I needed that trip under my belt just to give me the confidence to come out and have this trip. And what a trip. Surely, having a little bit of a knock. All those other bass have just slammed the rod tip over. It's been quite, quite exciting actually. Just lift that up off the bottom just in case there's a crab there. I don't think there is. Imagine the foot you'd get off of them one of them really big bass, you know, sort of five, six, even eight pound. One can only dream. A few clouds appearing now, but it's still a lovely, lovely day. It's just a bit of a chilly wind and I'm under the bridge out of the sun, which is uh, quite hectic. I don't know, I've got probably about another, I don't know how long, but once the water gets up to that rope, I don't want to get myself in a pickle and can't free myself from this post. And I've got work tonight, so I've got to get back at a decent time. Pike was flying around, fantastic. Yeah, I think I've got crabs again. If it's there for too long, I think the crab just came off then. And that worm looking, that worm's looking good. Let's get that bit of weed off. We can reset that. Oops. Tyrant's leg seems to be doing okay. Well, this is the last worm, so uh, <coughs> if nothing happens now, we're going to make a move. And I think we're going to go around in more sheltered water, get a bit of sunshine, something to eat, chuck a rod over the side. the best of it here and it was really really good too. I think it's uh, definitely the end time.
I just bought a little lure, a little sandy old type lure. I haven't really done any lure fishing for bass before, but give it a go. tied up to this thing. Because I'm tied up sideways, <coughs> the boat's not moving around so much. There's not so much wind around here. And I'm getting a bit of sunshine, so it feels quite nice. Got a crab on that rod. It's working this little lure on this rod. I just had a drink and something to eat, so life is rosy. Just going to give this half a dozen casts. Let's have a little go at this sandwich. Put a little bite on that. We've got another little, we've got another little shoal here. Yeah, there we go. Wow, the fishing's great today. still hot and it's going down so well. Oh, let me tell you. Sound of that bridge in that cold wind all day. Chill me to the bone. But that did. Oh, <laughs> he's pulling back. Oh, yeah, that's a slightly better one. Look at that. Well pleased with that. Right, you stop flapping about and I'll get old here. Come here. That's the thing with these bass. 
They're all spines and serrated gill plates and things. Yeah, another lovely fish. Another lovely fish. This is great fishing, it really is. They don't have to be big fish. When you've got light tackle, and you're catching them on your terms, in your own boat, where you used to fish when you were little, <coughs> and dream of being out in a boat rather than casting from the shore over there. Yep, this is good. Right, now fed and watered. I'm gonna concentrate on this a little bit. Another great trip, another great trip, can't complain. Some good action underneath that bridge. Knew I would. I felt sure I needed the crab though, didn't realise that the worm would do such devastating business. It was about an hour, I suppose about 45 minutes or so when the tide started flowing. But it was really prolific. There's a little bite. But those bites under there, they were so fierce. Bang! And then fighting in that current, even though they were smallest fish on this light tackle, absolutely brilliant. I'm just looking over there on that on that pathway. Just reminiscing all the times that I've stood on there and fished countless times. And do you know what? Thinking back, I've never ever ever caught much from there. I'd probably count on one hand the amount of fish I caught from there. But still we kept going. So it's two o'clock now, I've got three hours. Um, three hours until I've got to be at work. Three hours, I'm gonna want an hour, probably, to get back and loaded the car. And then an hour to get everything unloaded from the car and give the engine a good clean through. And then, an hour to get myself to work because the traffic's going to be pants. So, um, yeah, about another 10 or 15 minutes will do me. Surely. I could probably sit here for ages and catch loads of these, but I've had my fill today. It'd be good to get back while the tie tie as well. I'm going to beach it nicely, I'm not going to be too far from the car. It's a shame that I'll keep on throwing all this ragworm away. Yeah. 
slightly better one, slightly better. Slightly better fish. Come here, mate. There we go, look at that, that's lovely. That's lovely. There he is. Beautiful. Ragworms trying to uh, make a meal of me. Right, one more cast. To get all this old ragworm off, get a couple of fresh ones on, so I've got loads. I'm going to be throwing some away as it is, so no point in messing around with old worm. Get the ground bait down there. Let's get a nice uh, one of these on. Let's see if we can see if we can get a nice bass to finish on. Oh. <laughs> Oh, blimey. There you go. And that shows you how many are down there. <laughs> Double shot, I think that's it, I'm going to call it a day.